To make sure the administration of your antibiotics is as effective as possible, it's important to ensure the catheter is properly in place. Check that it hasn't moved out of place, been cracked or broken, and that no liquid is leaking from it. The insertion site is a location where the intravenous catheter is inserted into the skin. This spot may be at risk of infection. It's therefore important to keep an eye on the skin around the catheter. Signs of an infection are redness, heat, swelling, sensitivity, pus, or discharge. If you notice any of these signs at the insertion site, contact the nurse at the CSSS. Your dressing must be clean and dry at all times. If you notice blood or other liquid on the dressing, contact the nurse at the CSSS. Please refer to the chart explaining possible complications in the Guide to Intravenous Antibiotic Therapy at Home anytime you notice something abnormal regarding your insertion site. The steps to take are listed according to the situation. To monitor the status of an infection, it's important to take your oral temperature every morning when you wake up. Simply slide the thermometer under your tongue and keep it in place for at least three minutes or until it beeps. If the thermometer reads more than 38 degrees Celsius, please consult the chart explaining possible complications in the Guide to Intravenous Antibiotic Therapy at Home. We recommend you take a bath rather than a shower to avoid getting the catheter insertion site wet. Cover it with plastic wrap, such as sarin wrap, and tape it at the edges, because it's critical not to get the dressing wet. Do not immerse your arm in the water when taking a bath, even after taking the above precautions. If you have questions or concerns relating to your status or method of administering antibiotics, contact a nurse at your CSSS, your pharmacist, a nurse at the CHUS's day medicine unit, the emergency department of your nearest hospital. Their contact information is listed in the Guide to Intravenous Antibiotic Therapy at Home provided by the nurse in the CHUS's day medicine unit. Their contact information is listed in the Guide to Intravenous Antibiotic Therapy at Home provided by the nurse in the CHUS's day medicine unit. When needed, consult this guide and watch these capsules again. You'll find them under the Patient Visitor section of the CHUS's website at www.chus.qc.ca. 